So in this section, we'll look at the order of operations. This tells us the order we have to do, combine the numbers so that we always get the same answer. So the first thing we need to do is deal with the parentheses. We combine any, any numbers inside the parentheses following the order of operations below. This includes all grouping symbols, so this could be like braces or brackets. Those act the same as parentheses. The next step is to deal with exponents. We need to simplify any exponents. Then we need to do multiplication and division in order from left to right. That's a common mistake. People want to do multiplication and then division, but we have to do, if division comes first from left to right, we do division before multiplication. And then the last step is that we do addition and subtraction. Again, this works the same way. It has to do order from left to right. So if subtraction comes before addition, we do subtraction first. Subtraction and addition come last in the order. Everything else should be already finished when you start adding or subtracting. With fractions, you simplify the top and the bottom separately following the order of operations and then divide. So let's practice. In this problem, there's no parentheses and there's no exponents. So we're ready to look for multiplication and division. There's a multiplication problem there, so we're going to do that. But first, we'll copy everything up into it, and then we'll do that one piece. And now we'll do the last step, which is just to add those two numbers. And that's our answer. So in this problem, we have parentheses. So we're going to need to do that first. But we'll copy everything else up until that spot so that we're just changing one thing at a time. So 28 plus 19 is 47. And now we need to look for multiplication and division. But the first thing I see is this division. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to copy everything else and do that division. So 50 divided by 5 is 10. I still need to keep looking for any uh, multiplication or division. So here's another multiplication. So I'm going to copy everything else. And I'll do 4 times 47 and I get 188. And then now there's only one thing left, and we'll do 10 plus 188, and we get 198. And that's our answer. Notice each time I'm just changing one thing in each line, just doing one part of the problem and copying everything else straight down. So this is a fraction, so we're going to do the top and the bottom separately. On the top, I need to do this division first. So I'm going to copy the 18 and the parentheses. And I'll do 135 divided by 27, and that gives me 5. On the bottom, I need to do what's in the parentheses first. So I'll do 17 minus 13, which is 4, and copy everything else. On the top, that just leaves one thing left to do, the 18 times 5, which gives me 90. On the bottom, I need to do this multiplication first, so that's 24, and I'm just going to copy the minus 18. I'll leave the 90 on top for a minute because I need to do 24 minus 18 first, and that gives me 6. And the very last step with a fraction is to do that division. So I'll do 90 divided by 6, and I get 15 as my answer. So this problem, I look for parentheses first. I'm going to do what's in the parentheses. So that's this part right here. I'm going to copy everything else. Thirteen minus eight is five. 
Now I've done what's in the parentheses. The next step is to look for exponents. So this is an exponent and this is an exponent. So I'm going to copy everything else. Notice the 7 in those parentheses means multiplication, so I'm going to just put this dot to stand for that multiplication. And I'm going to do 5 squared is 25, and 3 to the third power is 27. Remember this means 3 times 3 times 3. So now I need to look for multiplication and division. Here's a multiplication, so I'm going to copy everything else. And 7 times 25 is 175. And now I do addition and subtraction because my multiplication division is done. So I do 15 plus 175 first, which is 190. And I'll copy the plus 27. Now I just need to do the 190 plus 27. And that gives me 217 for my final answer. We'll look at one more. So this you can see we have, um, like I said at the beginning, we have some braces. And then we have these brackets. And then we have these parentheses. So we want to start as far inside as we can. And that's these parentheses right here. So I'm going to copy everything else. And I'm just going to do this 23 plus 6, and that's 29. So that's all that's inside those parentheses, so now we need to look at the next set of um, grouping symbols or parentheses, and that's this bracket. So I'm going to copy everything else. That should have been 111. And I need to do inside of there first, but I need to follow the order of operations again. And that says to take 3 times 29 before I do any adding or subtracting. So 3 times 29 is 87, and I'll just copy that minus 36. So I need to finish what's inside there before I move on. So I'll copy everything else again. And 87 minus 36 is 51. I don't need to write those brackets any longer because there's only a single number inside. It means we don't need it. So the next set of parentheses sorts of things are those curly things we call braces. And so we're going to copy the 273 and the minus sign. And we'll do the 111 plus 51, and that gives us 162. And again, we don't need those braces any longer because it's a single number that's inside of it. So now there's only one thing left. We'll do 273 minus 162, and we get 111 as our final answer. So that's how we follow order of operations. Just be patient and write every step down, and that keeps you from making mistakes. And each time, in each step, it gets a shorter, gets shorter and shorter.